Hi, my name's Katie. I'm one of the radiographers. Welcome to Nuclear Medicine. This is our hybrid spec CT gamma camera. And this is where we do mainly cardiac stress imaging to have a look at the blood flow to the heart muscle under stress and under resting conditions. Um, as you can see here, we have the gamma camera part, which are these two scanners at the front. So this will pick up the radiation that we give to the patient an hour prior to their scan. So it's collecting information coming off them. And at the end, at the back, the bit that looks like the giant donut is our CT scanner. And that gives us anatomical information and it helps enhance the spect image of the heart before. As we do the scan, our patient will be laying on the table here and we attach four little ECG leads and this basically monitors the patient's heart rate whilst we're doing the scan. So our scan basically can measure the length of each heartbeat and then when we do the reconstruction of the images later, it breaks all of the heartbeats down into little sections and then it creates a 3D reconstruction allowing us to look at how the heart is contracting. Um, the images are displayed on the screen here so we can see it in real time and the patient can also watch it as we're doing their scan. Normally the patient is injected with a radioactive isotope an hour prior to the imaging because it needs an hour for it to circulate round into the body and absorb into the heart muscle and allow us to see the images. So what you're seeing here is the basically the left ventricle. So the radioactive injection that we give gets taken up within the myocardium. And this is showing you the left ventricle as if it was squashed flat. So this is the apex of the heart, and then this is the lateral side, and this would be the right side of the heart. And with as through the gating on the scanner, those heartbeats that it's measuring allows us to get a real-time image of how the heart has been contracting through the scan. So this is our radioisotope lab. This is where we draw up all of the radioactive isotopes that we inject into the patients. We also store all our sealed sources, which are used to do controller to quality control on our calibrators and the gamma camera. And if you follow me, we're gonna go and have a look at the screen and you'll see me draw up some radioisotope. So as staff members, we're all monitored very closely for our radiation exposure. I have a ring underneath my glove that basically picks up the finger dose that I'm getting. And I also have a whole body dosimeter, which measures the dose I get to my body. And these are changed every two months and we get a yearly total of what we've been exposed to. So this is a radioisotope pot. So they just come in little small glass vials. The radioactive isotope is just a clear, scentless liquid. You wouldn't know any different to water really. and contain everything within inside. And then our syringe shield, have a syringe shield again with um, about six mil of lead around them. And this again reduces our finger dose when we're injecting the patients. So to clear up, we would just hold it in the pot. for the radiation away from our hands until it's back into its shielded cover. And this glass screen in front of me is also made of thick lead, so this protects any eye dose that I may get from drawing up. And once completely drawn up, we should always monitor our hands to make sure that there's no contamination on them before we go and touch something else. So we have a monitor right here, which is called a mini scintillation monitor. And it will make a little clicking sound as I turn it on. And then we can put our hands in front of it to make sure that it's not detecting anything. 
So on here it measures in counts per second. So anywhere between 10 and 20 counts per second is like background radiation. And anything above that would be radioactive or contaminated.